So in today's video, we're going to talk about a boo-boo kit. It's not really a boo-boo kit. It's more like a human maintenance kit. So it's going to be able to resolve problems for you like a headache, a sunburn, a chapped lips, a bad breath, um, a scraped knee, scraped elbows, uh, your pants got ripped, you want to sew that up. It, I mean, things that are going to be affecting your body in some way, it's going to help you resolve those. The only real EDC tool on here is this uh, Next Tool Mini Sailor. It's the scissors version, which I think is absolutely ideal for this kind of application. It's very small. It fits on here. It's lightweight. It's well made. And uh, yeah, it, it's an absolutely perfect addition to this tool. On the back of it, I've got a little medicine chest. So you can see here, I've got that loaded up with, with other things. So we're going to show that in more detail. And then on the side here, I actually have a roll of of toilet paper for those situations where you're in a public restroom and there is no toilet paper. Yeah, that'll resolve that very quickly. Plus you can use it for other things as well. But um, yeah, this is what I put together. My philosophy on EDC is pretty much to design my tools and the things I'm carrying in these kits to help myself, to help other people, to help my family get through the day. So this is kind of, um, it's an interesting way of looking at EDC. It's not a survival tin. It's it's not, it's not a survival EDC kit. It's pretty much a, a regular maintenance urban EDC uh, setup. Um, it's a boo-boo kit, uh, human maintenance kit. It's, uh, I think you're going to use this probably more frequently than you would uh, a survival kit, frankly. But um, yeah, and I, I've got some pretty interesting things that I've, I've sourced on here. Everything um, that's on this kit is going to be listed in the PDF that you'll find in the description. You can download it and take a look at it. But I think you're going to like this. this is, there's some unique stuff on here. Anyway, stick around. See you in a bit. So what you see here is the boo-boo kit. So all the things here, except for the pouch and the pocket rack, uh, that is going to go onto the pocket rack. So all of these medications, creams, towels, dental floss, everything, including the little uh, pocket tool here, is going to end up on the pocket rack. So let's uh, let's get into this. All right, let's start over here and we'll work our way over. So we have these little uh, pellet towels, the little, almost like little dehydrated towels. They're small. I just happen to have a little bowl of water here. You drop these into water, and within a few seconds, it swells up and turns into a towel. Uh, and this is this is what it looks like when it's when it's fully extended, you get a, a full towel like this. This is about, I'd say, 10 inches by 10 inches. And you could use it for wiping up surfaces, cleaning your hands. You know, you could put antiseptic on it and use it for, for you know, wiping things down. But it, it's, it's really nice. And they're cloth. This isn't paper. It's cloth. So it's, it's, they're, they're very cool. <laughs> anyway, there's a description um, of where to purchase them, everything. All this stuff is going to be in a PDF that's in the description for this video. So if you want, if you're interested in any of this stuff, you can take a look in the video, uh, in, in the video description and be able to get information on where to locate it and cost and things like that. Anyway, further on here. All right, next one up is we have a roll of dental floss. Uh, string is nice to have and uh, cleaning your teeth is good too. So um, I'm putting this in here because it has dual purposes. But uh, it's nice, it's strong, it has, uh, this is wax coated. so. I guess you could burn it as well, but I don't know why you'd want to do that. Uh, next up after that is these little aluminum tubes. In the description, again, in, in the PDF, there's going to be numerous tubes like this for storing things on the pocket rack. This particular one I selected was to store toilet paper. So there's two feet of toilet paper in here. I trimmed down a little bit so it would fit into the tube, but it fits right in with almost two full feet. So I can think of a number of situations where You'd want to have a tube like this with toilet paper. <laughs> um, public toilets uh, often don't have toilet paper. I shouldn't say often, but sometimes don't have toilet paper. Uh, you can use it as tissue. You can use it for any number of things, but it's, it's kind of nice to have this. You don't have to do this per specific type of storage, though, for toilet paper. You could put medications in here. I have one of the tubes set up with five different compartments or four different compartments across it. So you could put every, different types of medication into this tube if you felt like it, or you could put wire, or you could put a zip tie, or something like that. But this setup is specifically for, it's a boo-boo kit. So we're going to go with that. And uh, as our human maintenance uh, theme is here, I went with the toilet paper. So it's pretty easy. It, it pops right out. Um, if it ever gets stuck in there, there's a little pair of pliers that's actually built into the 
uh, sailor here, the mini sailor, and you can pop that out and grab on the end and just pull it out. And you can see I've actually done that once before. <laughs> but anyway, it's nice having a little little tube of tooth paper. Again, two feet in here, so that's kind of cool. And that's the lid for it right there. Okay, next up, a little bottle of Aleve, a painkiller of some sort. Uh, this is my preferred one, I guess, but uh, it's it's about it's got some medication in here. When this is empty, you could probably take off the label, put something else in here if you want to. You could put multiple medications. I would just wrap them separately. Um, and yeah, it's kind of a nice to have. So that's Aleve. And then we have this little bottle of antiseptic. This is Band-Aid brand antiseptic. It's a little bottle of it spray on, and I just um, what's, what's really neat about this are these small perfume bottles that you can buy online. So these are, are made for holding perfume and um, alcohol-based um, items in them. So they're, they're pretty solid as far as uh, contamination, things like that. Um, I'm okay with this because it's an antiseptic. Uh, there's a little one uh, down here of mouthwash as well. It's alcohol-based, so I'm pretty sure that's safe as well. But uh, just use your own judgment when using these. But the lid pops off like this. And there's a little spray head right there. It's a little, and you just, there you go. It just sprays really nicely. So I'm, I'm really impressed with these little things. You can get multiple applications out of one of these. These are ideal if you have kids and you, they go to soccer games and things like that and scrape themselves. Having this like <laughs> on your person or in your car would be ideal for fixing this. This has a little numbing agent to it as well. So if it's hurting, it'll, it'll stop it pretty quickly. So it's, it's kind of a cool little thing to have with you. And these little bottles make it ideal to keep it with you. Next one up. Again, you're at this soccer field. Your kids are getting roasted. So sunscreen. This is a different type of bottle. Again, for perfume and creams. Um, pop off the top like this. And you just give a couple squirts. One, two, three. Come on, you can do it. It was working before. <sighs> Hold on. There we go. There we go. And it just squirts out. So and then you got sunscreen. Perfect. I'm going to go grab the towel, and I'm going to clean it off. <laughs> All right. Put the lid back on here. There it is. And we'll go on the next one. But this, this is really nice. So you've got one now for creams, which is this larger one. And then you have the smaller one for uh, sprays and, um, that you would like to use. And again, the, in the description, you'll find links to, to where to find these. But they give you these little containers give you all sorts of possibilities for a booboo kit like this. Next up, Burt's Bees. This is not mine. My wife is loaning this to me for this video. So, yeah, anyway, any type of chapstick will be, will be fine. Chapstick is a name brand. So, and next one up is mouthwash. So I don't want you using this, well, as a mouthwash. This is pretty much just a mint spray. If you've had a big lunch that was loaded with uh, garlic and your breath is pretty rancid, um, mouthwash. This would be good. So you just you could spray this like there's a stuff called Binaco when I was much younger, and you would uh, do this. And that's it. So it works very very nicely. Again, back with the towel. See how handy the towel is. <laughs> Whew. This stuff is strong smelling too. Anyway, so this is a little. I just poured some scope into this. Um, again, this container is set up to be able to handle alcohol and other things that are in perfume. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be fine as far as any cr cross-contamination or anything like that. You use your own judgment on this, but I, I'm fine with this. I've been using this for a while and it, it hasn't had any problems that I've noticed anyway. Um, but yeah, I would also be careful about labeling things. So <laughs> you want to make sure this is mouthwash on it and not antiseptic and, you know, just having them labeled, you're not going to have any problems reaching for the wrong thing when you're, when you're reaching for an antiseptic and you actually, yeah, get something else. Now, next one up. This was nice. You've probably seen these online before. These are a fairly common thing to do, but what, what it is, it's a straw that's, I put uh, toothpaste into it and then sealed up the end on, there's all kinds of videos on how to do this online. I'm not gonna bother doing it in this video, but um, it works really nicely. So I'm gonna grab my little mini sailor here and just snip off the end like this. And guess what? Tube of toothpaste. So this is just a straw. I put the toothpaste in. I've then taken a pair of pliers. I squish the end like this, put it over the stove, melt down the end, and then seal it up that way. And then do the same thing on the opposite end after I put the toothpaste in. And then you have your little toothbrush here. And you just take it and you run it across your toothbrush thusly. And there you go. You got your toothpaste. 
right here, and your toothbrush is loaded, ready to go. So that's it. So these are very easy to make. I would always use a new straw to do this. Uh, don't put anything else in it. Make sure it's not contaminated with anything. And um, it, it'll hold probably two loads in here pretty easily. But um, yeah, it's just mostly it's for one time use. But yeah, anyway. So the toothbrush is kind of cool too. This is a bamboo toothbrush. It was much longer, about that long. And I just cut off the end of it. What I really like about it is this nice wide grip on here. The plastic ones I found to be much too small for this, but this bamboo toothbrush is ideal. And if you feel like whittling away um, on the bamboo toothbrush, there is a nice little knife here too that where you can do that. Um, if you have nothing else to do and you're bored, you can uh, whittle your toothbrush. Uh, just a weird suggestion. So anyway, if, you're, if you wanted one of these, again, take a look in the uh, description for the PDF, download it, and it'll have where you can get one of these. So. All of this stuff, again, is listed in the PDF. Okay, next up, Band-Aids. I have three different sizes. I have a small, medium, and a large. The large is probably big enough to put on a kneecap or something like that. If Again, if you scrape your knee while you're hiking or something like that, this is probably big enough for it. So I try to include one of each. Again, this is a boo-boo kit. This is not a, uh, you know, <laughs> it's not for surgery or things like that. So I'm keeping it pretty simple. you got the antiseptic here, this. And you're pretty much where to go for any scrapes and, or anything like uh, of that sort. Next one up is the sewing kit. This is kind of a cool little sewing kit. There's all kinds of these online. You can get them on Timu, you can get them on Amazon, I believe, and eBay has them. You usually have to buy like a, a dozen of them or a half dozen of them. A um, couple bucks and you got this ready to go. I like this because I'm putting in a booboo kit because it's got the pin in it. So if you have to, you know, sanitize it with the antiseptic and then, you know, poke out a uh, something in your stuck in your skin, a thorn or something, you have that ability. And then combined with the little pair of pliers slash tweezers <laughs> that are in the uh, next tool, you're you're good to go. So this gives you all sorts of possibilities for doing that thing. Sewing up, you know, after you've scraped something, fixing clothing, it, it, all kinds of options here. This is kind of nice to have for the, in the Google kit. And next up, Benadryl. So all kinds of folks in my family have allergies. And everybody has one of these little packets. So there's two Benadryl in here. And uh, yeah, it's good for allergy relief. Anyway, keep it in there. Next one up are these, one of these Purell singles. Now these are kind of cool. You can see in the little drawing here that all they do is they snap it. So this would be just snap like that. And you'd have one dose of uh, Benadryl. It's alcohol based. Um, I, you might even be able to burn this if you really have to. But um, it's it's a nice little sanitizer. We all know what this stuff looks like and tastes like and smells like and everything else. Um, but yeah, it's, it, one or two of these in your kit would probably be a good idea if you want to clean things up. And next one up, I've got a load of Tums in here and an in here. Um, so yeah, there's there's a dose of each. I like this little plastic setup. Um, you can find these little plastic boxes online. Again, I'll, I'll see if I can find a, a good location for you. But I use one side of it, and then I take aluminum foil on the other side. And that's just a little piece of wax for holding this in place. But I put the wax, um, wax. I put the aluminum foil on the other side, and then seal it up with tape all around the edge. And it's pretty much airtight. Um, but I like to be able to see what's in the case, what I have in here. If you just wrap it in aluminum foil. You don't really know until you take it all out, but this one just allows you to see instantly what's in here and decide whether or not you want to pop this open or not. So it's, uh, again, one dose of each. And uh, yeah, really nice and easy thing to do, set up as well. Next one is the next tool. So this is the uh, mini sailor and with the scissors. Um, they also have one with pliers, but I like the scissors for this function as part of a little you know, boo-boo kit just because you can cut clothing away if you have to or you know, resize bandages if you wanted to any size. It gives you all kinds of options. You can also, it, it works really well in fingernails. There you go. It cuts very, very easily, almost better than the clippers. Um, there's a file in here. There's, oh, this, I can show you what these look like. So these are the pliers. So they're pretty much, they're glorified tweezers, frankly, but they're, they work pretty well. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't rely on them for, for you know, as, as a pair of pliers, but they're, they're a nice little pair of tweezers that can hold pretty well. So in combination with a needle you have, you could probably get some splinters out with that if you needed to. Um, there's also a nice file in here. So if you want to work on your fingernails, 
Again, this is a, a human body maintenance kit. <laughs> um, and what else we got? There's a, there's a knife in here as well, a nice little knife. And it, it folds up very compactly. This is a nice thing. And it fits perfectly onto the pocket rack. So I'll set all that up and I'll put it on there later on. But that's the pocket rack right here. I'm going to take everything that's here and put it onto the pocket rack and put the pocket rack into the pouch. So this pouch was featured in previous videos as well. It's a, a converted shotgun shell pouch. It will take 10 shotgun shells in here, five on each side. I've taken out the bands that usually hold the shotgun shell in place. You can see some of the threads in there. And uh, it's nice because it does this. It expands and contracts. So you can have very little in here. Um, just put a few things in here if you want to, or you can put a whole rack in here. So the other thing about the pocket rack that I have here, again, it's, it's going to go into here, and I'll show you what that looks like in a bit. But another unique thing about this pocket rack that's a little different is that I've got a tin mounted at the back of it. So it's a very easy setup to do. It's hook and loop tape on the back there. You can see it down there, just so you can see it. And I just got it sealed on there like that. I'm going to take all of this, all of, mostly the paper items, uh, some of the tablets and things like that. Um, all those things are going to end up going on the front of the rack so you can see them very easily and access them very easily. And pretty much all the other stuff is going to go in here. It all seals up very, very nicely and then goes in here like this. And you can access it all very quickly. There's even additional room in there if you want to. The other th nice thing about this pouch is that you can put it onto your belt loop if you want to really, really easily. So I've, I've actually carried this quite a bit. Um, you can also put it in a backpack. You can put it in your glove compartment. It gives you all sorts of, of ways to, to store it. A little toothpaste there. I should have done that. Clean it up later. Anyway, so that's it. All right, so in the next segment, I'm going to take all this stuff. I'm going to speed it up for you, take a few seconds, and you'll see everything go onto that rack, and then we'll put everything in here. All right, see you in a bit. Stick around. So what you're looking at here is a standard EDC pouch. This one is made by Roaring Fire. What I like about this pouch, it's waxed canvas, which is really nice. But mostly I want you to see, this is a standard size, regular size pouch. All right, so inside this pouch, I've replaced the usual straps and things with a couple of pocket racks. So you've got two pocket racks here. This is the budget pocket rack that I built out uh, oh, a couple weeks ago. And uh, as you can see, it's everything's here. It's nice and thick, fits in there nicely. And then right next to it, the one we built today. And uh, this one is a just standard size as well. They're both standard size. They both fit perfectly. You can close up the top. There's even room for other things in here if you want to do that. But if you want to use it as a standard EDC pouch organizer, they work great for that. The standard sizes are perfect, absolutely perfect for that. So that's about it. Let me pull this out of here real quick. <sighs> So, so that's all I've got for you to, for, for today. Um, it was a, a fun video to put together. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Uh, recommend it to a friend. Um, anything else you can do to promote the, the channel would be vastly appreciated. I hope to see you soon. Take care.